Hello everybody, hope you are all fine. Today we are going to study in detail about mass and weight. Let's get started. The mass and weight are two different quantities in physics, though in our everyday life we often misuse the terms. So then, what is the difference between mass and weight? Mass is the measure of amounts of substance in a body, irrespective of its shape, location and speed. In fact, Mass depends on the number and composition of atoms and molecules that make up the body. The SI unit of mass is kilograms and it is a scalar quantity. Weight of an object is the force on the object due to gravity. It's a vector quantity and its SI unit is Newton. If it's a vector quantity, then what is its direction? We just learned that it is the pull of gravity. So definitely the direction is downwards, I mean towards the center of Earth. Before we learn to calculate the weight, let's review Newton's second law. Newton's second law says the acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. In other words, the net force acting of an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its acceleration. This figure shows an apple falling. There are four images of the apple, taking at a cool intervals of time. The apple falls further in each successive time interval. This shows that its speed is increasing. It is accelerating. If an object accelerates, there must be a force that is causing it to do so. In this case, the force of gravity is pulling the apple downwards. The name given to the force of gravity acting on an object is its weight. Because weight is a force, it's measured in Newton. Every object on or near the Earth's surface has a weight. This is caused by the attraction of the Earth's gravity. Because the Earth pulls the, with the same force on every kilogram of matter, every object falls with the same acceleration close to the Earth's surface. The acceleration caused by the pull of the Earth's gravity is called the acceleration of free fall or the acceleration due to gravity. This quantity is given the symbol G and its value is 10 meter per square second close to the surface of the earth. To calculate an object's weight from its mass m, we multiply by 10 the value of acceleration of free fall g. It is important to understand the difference between the two quantities mass and weight. The mass of an object measured in kilograms tells you how much matter it is composed of. The weight of an object measured in newtons is a gravitational force that acts on it. If you take an object to the moon, it will weigh less than it does on earth, because the moon's gravity is weaker than the earth's. However, its mass will be unchanged, because it is made of just as much matter as when it was on earth. When we weigh an object using a balance, we are comparing its weight with that of standard weights and the other side of the balance. We are making use of the fact that if two objects weigh the same, their masses will be the same. Newton's first law is another way of saying that all matter has a Boolean opposition to being moved if it's at rest or if it's moving, to having its motion changed. This property of matter is called inertia. Its effect is evident on the occupants of a car that stop suddenly, they lurch forwards in an attempt to continue moving, and this is why seat belts are needed. The reluctance of a stationary object to move can be shown by placing an object on a piece of paper. If the paper is pulled suddenly and sharply, the object stays where it is. The larger the mass of a body, the greater is its inertia. I mean, the more difficult it is to move it when at rest and to stop it when in motion. 
Because of this, we consider that the mass of a body measures its inertia. This is a better definition of mass than the one given earlier in which it was stated to be the amount of matter in a body. Okay, this is the end of chapter 3, mass and weight. I hope this revision video will be helpful for you. See you on next video.